Full sun, no problem. You can see a little bit of flashing on the screen, but not too much. I'm Dave Schneider for IEEE Spectrum with my latest hands-on project, a bicycle computer. So most people use a, a bicycle computer pretty much like this one. This is an old cat eye. And while it's okay, uh, it does have some problems. Namely, it's kind of hard to see. Which is why I worked out a bicycle computer for farsighted people. We'll take it out for a spin, but first I want to show you how the bits and pieces go together. A Kindle Touch attached to my handlebars with, yes, you, you guessed it, rubber bands. Back here in the saddlebag. is a Raspberry Pi and a battery pack for the Raspberry Pi. Here is a board. This is one I designed that plugs into the uh, general purpose I.O. Of the, of the Raspberry Pi. And it's got a GPS unit on it, uh, a backup battery, um, and the plug. Plugged in are two reed switches which are attached uh, down here on my bike, one senses the motion of the wheel, the other the motion of the chain ring. So uh, tells me my cadence and my speed. So the Raspberry Pi is a pretty powerful little computer to be toting around on your bike. And I programmed it to serve up a little web app, my, my cycling computer. It broadcasts uh, through Wi-Fi and the Kindle is merely using its experimental browser um, to log into this application. All right, here we are, full sun. Take another spin. Hey, don't forget the map. It's just this touch screen isn't the, the best. And there we are. So it was a kind of involved little project, but if you like programming and you like biking, you don't like squinting, maybe give it a try. I made a beacon app that I will demonstrate. And for the beacons, we are using the light blue bean device. And here on my mobile phone, I have an app um, that displays information. So information in this example is about how to relax. So this is relaxing by feeling into the feet. And if I move along here and move to another beacon, I get another piece of a relaxation advice, namely relaxing by feeling into my face. Open garage door. Close garage door. I would not want to cause injury or damage. Is the garage door clear? Yes. Thank you. I am closing your garage door. Disarm alarm. Thermostat 76 degrees. One moment while I set the nest to 76 degrees. Okay, I set the lime tree nest to 76 degrees. The current temperature is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Camera porch. Turn off living room lights. Channel 43. Okay, changing to channel 43. 
Station ESPN. If you have replaced your old Raspberry Pi with a newer second generation model, it would be a shame to throw the old model away. One great way to still use your old Raspberry Pi is to repurpose it as a music player. In this short video tutorial, I will show you how to play your local music library and Spotify online music from your Raspberry Pi. So let's dive in. First, download a Volumio image file from volumio.org and extract the zip file. Volumio is a great music system for Raspberry Pi to play all your music, whether it's a high-resolution file or Spotify with the highest quality. You will also need to download and install Win32 Disk Imager that we'll use to write the image file to the SD memory card. To install Volumio to the SD memory card, right-click on the Win32 Disk Imager file and select Run as Administrator. Then insert the microSD card on your PC and browse the Volumio image file and click on Write. Next, insert the memory card to your Raspberry Pi, connect an audio cable to your amplifier or active speakers, and boot up the system. Wait a couple of minutes for the system to boot up, and then type volumio.local on your computer tablet or phone's browser. From here, you can configure Volumio such as adding NAS drives or your Spotify credentials. Now, you're ready to play your first song. Lastly, if you want to get the best audio playback quality, I would recommend trying out the Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus special sound card together with Volumio. To learn more, please have a look at the show notes. That's it. If you like this video, subscribe to My Media Experience YouTube channel for more practical tutorials to enhance your media experience.